drive and girl talk episode five currently i am in the parking lot of uh chipotle as you can see back here i do want to get a boba cup i want to try something different because i'm really craving some milk tea my favorite milk tea is actually the strawberry one but i want to try something different because i always get the same thing at boba this video is going to be really fun because i'm going to give a little bit of my experience on how i achieve this and how you can too the topic of this episode is how to make him regret losing you and how to make him chase you again and I'm really excited for this episode because I have a lot of experience in this especially as somebody who quote-unquote glowed up I kind of know what guys that have played you or what guys who have treated you wrong kind of look for how to trigger them back into being like oh yeah I shouldn't have done that to her or oh I miss her so much that type of thing like I have so much experience in that field so I was like why don't I make a video for you guys who kind of are just still heartbroken or you're trying to think of how to get him to notice you again or how to get him to miss you I know everything so if you do not know or if you're new to my channel I do drive-in girl talks every week I'm going to do them every Tuesday now I don't know if I told you guys this well if you follow me on my Instagram you would know that so follow me on my Instagram for every girl talk I actually post a poll and you guys get to vote on what girl talk episode you want that week so so make sure you follow me on Instagram so you don't miss it and if you're new here please go watch the other episodes because there could be some episodes that you want but you haven't seen yet so make sure you watch those and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future episodes so the first thing that you want to do to make a guy regret losing you is to definitely fall back you need to fall back and let him chase you never ever 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 and I've made this mistake before chase a man I have made that mistake when I was super super insecure and when you grow a lot of confidence in yourself and you know who you are and you know what you deserve you don't chase people anymore you let them come to you especially as a woman we need to let men take that masculine role of chasing us that's not our duty to do it's very very attractive when a man chases us so just keep that in mind that when you chase a man a lot of men actually find that as a turnoff because when a man wants something they're gonna go get it like when a man wants you he he makes it extremely obvious like men are not like men are pretty stupid if he's not chasing you then he doesn't want you or he's not interested so you shouldn't be either learn the power of falling back learning how to fall back and when to fall back is so so important especially when someone continuously plays you when you continue to be there for them no matter what they're gonna have in their mind oh I can do anything and she'll stay I can literally cheat on her countless number of times dog her out do her wrong and she will stay because that's how she is don't don't let a relationship get to that point where he literally feels like he can do anything to you and he can get away with it you need to hold men accountable and that's the problem with a lot of men they aren't held accountable by women that they're with they are given so many free passes they've been coddled their whole entire life so how do you expect him to just stop out of nowhere what he's doing you need to show him there are consequences to what he does and one of the best consequences is to fall back and to stop fucking with him so just keep that in mind whatever you allow to happen will continue so don't be shocked by repeated negative behavior I'm gonna make a video going more in depth of like my kind of glow up journey or my journey of growing up ugly but I definitely definitely was not the most attractive middle schooler or high schooler I was not popular I didn't have a ton of friends I was just pretty much a normal girl um, I was not conventionally attractive I would say that and there were plenty of guys that I liked, plenty of guys that I wanted who didn't want me back. And now that I have kind of grown up and I am going to school now, I am starting my own business, I have my own blog, and I'm more attractive, more confident, I'm happier, I'm so much more happier than I used to be. And it wasn't even just due to looks, it was just due to me not being 
confident. Like, I was very insecure, and it wasn't just because of my looks. Um, I had really bad acne. I did, and I wasn't pleased with myself physically, but also emotionally. I was just so torn. I just didn't know how to heal myself. I was just going through a lot of trauma, and I had a really, really bad breakup, so I just wasn't taking care of myself. But as soon as I started doing that, literally all of the freaking guys that did not like me before are in my DMs right now, and I don't even talk to them. And that is just me saying that once you start taking care of yourself, because I didn't do this for them, you guys. I did not just wake up and be like, okay, I'm gonna learn how to do makeup, I'm gonna learn how to dress, I'm gonna be prettier, I'm gonna be more confident, I'm gonna start all of those things just to get back at them. No, I said, I'm gonna do this for myself. I wanna be happier, I wanna feel happier, and I just wanna live the best life that I can. So, I changed my life. What I'm basically saying is other people cannot be your motivator to change. Like, just because you want a guy to look at you and say, oh my god, I shouldn't have done that to her, doesn't mean that that should be your motivation. Yeah, that can be a part of what you want to do and why you want to glow up, but it shouldn't be all of it. My glow up really started happening when I started loving myself regardless of the flaws that I had. Okay, you guys, so I got milk tea and I got the cookie and cream one so I'm so excited to try this oh my gosh it looks so good this is good you know what it actually tastes it doesn't taste like cookies and cream no this tastes like chocolate graham crackers is that weird like it doesn't taste like cookies and cream it actually tastes like chocolate graham crackers but it's still good though but I really freaking needed that because I needed some fuel I haven't eaten all day and I'm so hungry oh I didn't tell you guys so I'm gonna put faux locks in my hair right now this is just a curly extension but I'm gonna put some faux locks in starting tonight so I'm actually gonna record that and everything but that's not going up until next week because I have a pretty little thing haul for you guys and that's gonna be up Saturday so make sure you subscribe so you won't miss that oh my car set girl what are you doing okay back to the girl talk okay so the last thing is hurry I need to get groceries. Okay, the last thing is you need to just live your best life and find your passion and your happiness. When you lose somebody, the reason why it hurts so much for a lot of people and the reason why you feel like you can't live without them is because you literally made them your everything. Like you made them your passion, you put all your energy into them, you help build them. So basically you feel like that's something I worked on, that's something I created. How can I walk away from this? Like, how can I leave this? Stop making your passion a person because people can leave all the time. Like, people have a choice to leave or not, but when you make your passion a thing, when you make it your hobby, anything of that sort, it will never leave you. You're the person who can choose to walk away. For example, like my blog, my blog, My Luminous Lady. If you guys don't know, I have a woman empowerment blog. So if you like a lot of these girl talks, I actually do a blog post for every girl talk that I record so make sure you check that out it's gonna be pinned down below in the comments my blog is my passion and I actually started it right after I had a rough patch with somebody and I just started to realize the reason why it was so rough for me and the reason why it was so hard for me to let go of this person was because I didn't have a thing like you need oh somebody honking not at me you need to have a thing that keeps you going and keeps you running just like the feeling that you get in a relationship like the feeling you get when you love somebody or when you first meet them you know that infatuation phase that's something that I feel all the time making YouTube videos making blog posts doing those things really fuels me and it makes me so so happy so you need to find your thing you need to find your happiness when you put it entirely into one person it's so hard to move on so find your thing and just live your best life like that person will come around and see you one day and I swear it always happens because even my ex you guys even my ex and I'm gonna do a story time on that like I have a story time already on my channel but I wanted to do another one in 
if you guys want to see that I'll put that up uh, Thursday so basically with my ex we went through a really toxic relationship that relationship was freaking crazy like all the stories I have about that I want to tell you guys in that video on Thursday but anyways we didn't talk for five years like after the two-year mark I was like okay we're never gonna talk again like <laughs> we haven't talked for five years I don't expect for this guy to come back into my life but randomly in the beginning of was it beginning of last year it was the beginning of this year actually that it happened oh, that's so crazy it was the beginning of this year and he reached out to me and he was talking to me and he was like you know I never forgot you you were always in the back of my mind throughout all the people that I talked with um, I always thought about you like you were the one who taught me blah 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 you look so different now you look so much better I'm glad you're doing better you know that bullshit guys say but when I tell you guys I never ever expected that to happen it was just such a shock to me so it doesn't matter how much time has passed if somebody is meant to see or glow up and progress they will freaking see it so don't be discouraged if you feel like that person has never said sorry to you or never said that they like regret doing that to you don't feel bad about it don't feel bad about it because a lot of people just don't have self-awareness it takes sometimes it takes traumatic events to happen for somebody to have self-awareness it takes them being dogged out themselves for them to look back into their lives and see that they did you really really wrong the more energy you put into that person the more that they're winning so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm on my way home I'm gonna edit this video put it up tomorrow you guys you see all these love bugs around if you guys live in Florida have you guys seen all of these love bugs because this is disgusting like love bugs are so annoying even though like they're probably one of the most harmless bugs ever they really annoy me because they just be in your face they be everywhere they be fucking in front of you and I don't like that so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video give me a like if you made it this far and I kind of want to have like a cute intro I'm gonna start thinking oh if you guys have another name I could give for this drive-in girl talk please let me know because I was like I'm gonna do this every Tuesday show so should it be Tuesday talks Tuesday talk and drive girl I don't freaking know but anyways I will let you guys go now I will see you guys Tuesday and I respond to every single comment so comment down below what you like and yeah I will see you guys in my next one bye